Dean Salthouse and we're here today to take a look at the Corsair range. Today we're shooting on a Euro 49 and I'm going to show you the special features. But many of the special features we have on this vessel are available on any of our models. A lot of care has been taken to develop these boats and one of the things you'll notice when you uh, go boating on a Salthouse design is the practicality and functionality of all the things we've put in them. A good example of that is our pantry unit. When it slides out you can easily access anything inside there. Uh, it gives you a massive um, storage area for dry goods right beside where you're cooking. The 12 volt refrigeration drawers uh, are just fantastic to use. Easy to push the top back, you can see everything, um, everything's contained nicely so it won't rattle. And you've got the two drawers, easy to wipe out and clean. And of course you've got the locks on the side when you're at sea, so they're very secure. Our freezers as well, being top opening, it uses the corner space in the corner of the bench. A very hard part of the kitchen or galley area to use up efficiently for cupboard storage. So we've sacrificed it and used it totally for freezer. You'll see it's very deep and again the leaderage in here uh, is more than uh, adequate. Uh, one of the other uh, features on this boat with the uh, cockpit. Uh, addition to the servery area we've been able to put underneath it a uh, 12 volt refrigerator and that just gives us a wine rack and storage it means you can have wine bottles in actual racks in the door that have been cooled down or chilled down but it also doubles uh, very efficiently as a normal refrigeration say for day-to-day -day use um, where you might be going out for a cruise and you've been to the delicatessen and you've picked up a whole lot of mixtures of salads and things like that you can just use this fridge uh, and it's nice and close to where you'd serve it and set it up during the day. Other special features, uh, we've changed the entrance way to the door, we've noticed that uh, it's becoming more common to uh, have no pillar and have a fully open back of the boat. So by doing so, removing that pillar, we can open up the back window, we can open up the sliding door and you've got a full indoor-outdoor feel of the boat. You, uh, you've got nothing blocking the inside flow to the outside flow. The servery top behind the galley, we like the aft uh, galley in the boat and the reason for that is that you, when you're in the, in the galley cooking for people or preparing food, um, you don't have to be out of the conversation. Uh, often when we're using our boats we feel a little bit uh, like we are uh, doing all the work and we're missing out. But with the galley at the back end, it's in between the two, uh, the dining table for it of course and the cockpit table, whatever's going on you're still right there with the window up, you can talk to the people in the cockpit that you're entertaining, you can also talk to the people in the saloon. Same with the helmsman, having uh, no flybridge is no loss for us because we love the fact that whenever I'm out boating and taking people around, uh, whether it's going up waterways or to islands or exploring uh, our beautiful cruising grounds, I'm able to have people sit around me, I'm involved in the conversation. If I want to put it on autopilot and go back and make myself a cup of coffee or get another beer out of the fridge or a soft drink, then I don't have to worry because I can see forward anywhere in the boat. Uh, a lot of thought's been put into all these different features of the boat and, and we find our cockpits are our point of difference. The seating and dining in the cockpit area is second to none. We can have uh, quite a few people, up to 10 people seated uh, quite comfortably around the table and opposite in a conversation environment and we can have chips and dips and crackers and things. We can make a mess out there that we wouldn't want to perhaps do so much in the boat. Even the red wine spilling on the cockpit floor is only a hose away from being fixed. So there's things you can do in the cockpit uh, that are a lot more relaxing than if we were trying to do that same thing inside the boat. And of course it's out in the fresh air, it's just, it's just a lovely place to entertain in a, in a hot evening. Of course having such a great uh, cockpit and functional cockpit, it is very nice to be able to shut it away from the elements. So with putting the big clears around the cockpit, uh, we're able to set up the best of both worlds. We can let the sunlight come in, we can easily unzip the big large panels on the side of the cockpit windows and roll them up and have that totally open. We can roll the whole back of the boat up, we can have some of the boat open at the back. And it just means that if it is a, a windy or blustery day, we can still use that area uh, without being outside the boat. Or if it's a hot, steamy day and we want to get um, some fresh air around us, then we can roll up the sides and, and it makes no difference having the covers. Another feature of our cockpit is the wide open stern gate area. This is so uh, when we want to move between bays and we've got our dinghy and our outboard set up, we can pull it up into the back of the boat and just steam off to where we want to go. As soon as we get there, we push the dinghy out the back with the outboard still on it, no hassle, uh, very easy to use. One of the things I do like is actually for putting the outboard onto the dinghy itself. You can pull the dinghy onto dry land, pick the outboard up, which is stored under the seat here, 
walk it to the back of the dinghy and just place it on without even having to get someone to pass it to you. Uh, and then of course you just push the dinghy out the back again. It's so easy to use, it's practical, it's functional and it works. Our rod locker is another innovation. On a boat, we used to keep all our, our rods down underneath the cockpit floor and one thing that used to bother me with that is that you'd have to get someone to pass them to me when I'm packing the boat up. Now with our new uh, sealing rod locker, it's so easy, you drop it down, you can walk right up, stack them and they're in and out in two seconds flat. Uh, it's a great place to store your rods, it's right up under the roof, it's a hot area whereas down in the lazarette it's a little bit damp and not ideal for your expensive reels. Uh, this just works so well and it actually gives us the ability to place more lighting or any lighting in the, into the rod locker to uh, increase your LED lighting in the cockpit should you choose. Customization is a really important part of what we do because I don't want to tell my buyers and my owners what they have to have in their boats. We are very flexible, you will find us easy to deal with. Once we've settled on a contract and decide what we're building, if you decide you want to add stuff to it, it is not a problem. Really what we want to do is you to go away with the boat that you want, not what I think you should have. Uh, we put in um, stereos, pop-up televisions, electric windows if people want it. There's, there's nothing we can't do. Um, it's just the expense of it and the complexity of it. We really have applied the KISS principle to these boats. Uh, we don't want to have too many complicated things. We can put in electric sunroofs, we can do all that flash stuff if you would like it, and we will do it. But the concept of these boats is that they are low maintenance. Um, I own one myself and have for five years. I have removed anything that's given me problem off these boats. I don't want to be working on my boat when I go away in it. I want to be enjoying it. So a lot of the electric uh, up and down and whiz bang devices uh, that can fail and mean you TV, if your TV won't pop up, you can't watch your TV. Things like that that can be really frustrating when you're away with your family, your time is valuable. We have tried to keep it simple. But if you want it, we can do it. Some more features in our cockpit are the massive amount of storage area underneath the seats. Uh, we can basically just lift the uh, seat backs off and then all of the seat lids are on gas rams and it opens up cavernous storage down under the, to the uh, lazarette underneath. We also have your storage areas uh, through your conventional hatches in the centre of the cockpit. And what I used to find is whenever you take divers out, the first thing they do is put their dive bags down those centre hatches and then of course you can't get access to anything else you might have down there like your fishing nets or your oars for your dinghy or things you might just need to get out from time to time. By having these side seats completely opening, uh, we can put all the heavy dive gear and wetsuits and tanks down the side of there and still have our normal access into our cockpit. We love to fish on our boats, they're very much set up for it, uh, hence the rod locker and the roof. But we have 10 rod holders across the transom, we have uh, fish lockers underneath the platform which uh, is our live bait tank. Basically when you pull in a fish, you lift up the lid, drop it straight in there, it doesn't come into the boat, keeps it clean and it keeps them alive. One of the other special features we've put into this model is a barbecue in the corner of the cockpit. And this is great, it doesn't take up the whole back end of the boat. It's functional, it's a big barbecue, uh, it just pops up on a, a gas table leg, so it's very, again, KISS principle, the way it's been put together. And you can barbecue anything you like out there, keep your uh, hot cooking outside on those hot days, uh, and very easy to clean. Barbecue stripped down and can be washed in the large galley sink quite easily. On the other side of the cockpit we have a rubbish bin locker. Uh, it gets used for everything but rubbish on most occasions. It's a fantastic place to put your shoes or people who come aboard shoes very easily. Um, it lifts out and behind it we have the uh, shore power lead so that's stored away and very easy to get out. We have cockpit lockers. You'll notice that we've made GRP or fiberglass uh, cockpit lockers. Very nice styling and they are uh, made out of the same product as the rest of the boat. So no problem with plastic discolouring over a period of time. You've got these beautiful uh, latches, very easy to shut. No rattles, they've got rubber stops on them. Yeah, really proud of that, uh, that feature. Another feature that we like to uh, have in the, the cockpit is a drop down table. And this has a squab that goes on top of it. It just drops down so it's level and turns that whole uh, port settee area into a big sunbed. A very nice place to bring out your pillows and lie reading a book or just even just having a snooze uh, with a cool breeze blowing through the cockpit and maybe a bit of sun on your legs or yeah, just a lovely place to spend an afternoon. You'll notice both corners of the um, cockpit seats are made identical too. You've got a beautiful padded backrest. It is one of the most popular places to sit on the boat. 
Uh, we've had arguments in the past with his and hers fighting over which side's theirs, but it does enable you, generally always, one side of that boat is in the sun and one side's in the shade, so you can choose whether you want to sit and, and sunbathe and read a book with your head out of the sun, which is very important, so we're not getting wrinkles where we don't want them. And on the other side, when you sit in the shade, um, it's just on those really hot balmy days, it is beautiful to lie in there and have, a, have an afternoon siesta. Uh, storage underneath uh, the forward seat is a gas bottle locker and we have that, we keep all our liquids in there, it's drained, it drains over the side so it's very safe. We have a uh, gas detector obviously fitted so that if any sensing of gas or stray gas uh, comes it switches off the solenoid on the bottle but should a bottle leak it will drain over the side very safely and, uh, and not into the bilge. Some of the special features of our galley area are our uh, soft closed drawers. Basically when you shut your drawer you can slide it and the uh, soft closed function takes over and gently closes the drawers. If you look at all our glassware and plates they're all made into custom built racks. And the idea of that is that uh, when we're underway and at speed we don't have to worry about our glasses breaking or rattling even um, because they're all beautifully held in position and you can do your 30 knots in, in reasonable conditions without having to worry about rattles or, or noise coming from your galley area. One of the big features is the amount of storage we put into these boats and in our saloon we have uh, four more drawers, two on the starboard side underneath the uh, starboard settee right behind where I'm sitting here and a couple more behind the uh, dinette table. These are very big drawers, deep drawers and you're able to put games and just lots of bits and pieces in there that uh, you can never have too much storage on a boat. Uh, in all the cabins the same, we have drawer units, we have hanging lockers in each cabin and lots of storage under the bunks. Every single piece of the space on this boat is used for good reason. Uh, our batteries for instance are stored uh, behind the uh, saloon table. The reason for that is it's a horrible place to get into for storage so we've used it up with our batteries and our electrical gear uses the other hard to get to spaces in that corner. Another feature of our galley, we have the microwave in the corner, a very easy place to use it and get things in and out of in the hot. Uh, below that we've got a, a cupboard that we use for spice racks and, and different storage. We, have, we can also keep our plates in there if we like, um, but we've tried again just to add as much space as we can. Beside the oven is a pull-out um, towel rail for your tea towels and also below that it doubles as a nice place to keep all your big uh, platters or your cutting boards or chopping boards uh, etc. Also in the galley uh, as well as the microwave of course we have a, a four burner gas oven. It has an oven and a grill as well so a separate grill um, available as well. Fantastic for cooking scones in. I mean I love cooking in the gas ovens. Uh, they get so hot uh, they make really good uh, batches of scones in. and plenty of room to do a roast as well or anything you do really normally at home. Another favourite place for me to sleep in the uh, Corsair is the saloon table. It drops down and makes a big huge double bed uh, and it takes about a minute to do. You basically put a squab on top of the table, you unscrew the table leg from underneath it and it just drops onto um, strong doublers that are on, built into the bunk fronts, beautiful varnished doublers that it just goes on top of, pushes in and there's your bed made up. Another area we like to customise to the owner's requirements is the helm console, as you can see behind me. This owner requested a 15 inch um, monitor screen as a second uh, SIMRAD screen and that enables him to have either his uh, navigation on full time, we also have a camera function for the engine room cameras or the, we actually put a camera under our anchor, under our bowsprit so we can see our anchor coming up. It's very handy if you hook up kelp or cables especially when you've got a beautiful uh, metallic paint job, as often we do on the Corsairs. Uh, it just gives you uh, that peace of mind that you haven't hooked anything on your anchor that you shouldn't have. Um, Customising this dash, we put a spotlight on this boat. We uh, take a picture of the whole dash laid out ready for the final assembly, and we send that off to the owners if they're uh, not in town or overseas, and they approve their final dash layouts. We love them to be involved. I know it's a very personal part of the boat, if you're right-handed or left-handed and you want things how you'd like them. So we always let the owner decide on uh, how our dash layout will be. Uh, I love having the screen up here and the above me. Um, it's great when I'm sitting at the helm station, I do not have to move at all. I can just sit and touch and change if I want to look at the sounder, if I want to go to radar, if I want to do any of those features that it, that it offers me, even the engine room cameras, I can do it without even having to move forward. 
When the boat's on autopilot, you basically sit back and watch your gauges and your navigation equipment. It's very easy to use. Docking's a big part and manoeuvrability is a big part of these boats these days. Um, we've been fitting bow and stern thrusters to these uh, vessels uh, quite frequently. It gives you the same ability as IPS or Zeus Drive to be able to go straight sideways in a docking situation. The bit I like about it is, apart from it being considerably cheaper, uh, is that it is so easy to use. It's quiet, you don't have high revving engines, you don't have bubbles coming out from under the boat because you've got high revving engines. It's just so gentle to the touch. Um, the side window beside me for getting in and out of the boat is essential. Um, I had to set this up for my dad when we were building the first one at the age of 75 with a hip replacement. He had to be able to do everything uh, by himself. So by having a big full height window at the side here, it means you can come alongside your dock, pick up your spring line, put it on the cleat, uh, and you're in the pen effectively. From there I can climb up a very easy set of steps onto the foredeck, I can go and put my bow lines on, or I can gently work, walk down the stern, of course, and put my stern lines on at my leisure. The bow and stern thruster again are so, uh, make it so easy for that because even from the side deck I can operate them. So the Yamaha engine package comes with electronic controls. Uh, they have the uh, sync for RPMs which is nice for auto syncing. Also with the Yanmar gearboxes uh, all your warranty is through Yanmar. One of the things we've been asked about a lot at the boat shows is whether it's possible to get a second uh, head into the boat and shower. Uh, we've opted to do this in the cockpit area. Uh, we're very pleased with how it's come out. It's quite a roomy uh, a toilet, uh, plenty of room to have a shower. Uh, the disadvantage obviously is that everything gets wet in there when you're showering, whereas in the forward, uh, our standard forward heads, we have a separate shower uh, cubicle just for showering so that everything, the whole bathroom doesn't get wet. Some of the new features we've been asked to fit are the glass shower door and the raised bowls on top of the uh, timber bench tops. Love this new styling, it looks fantastic. Or again, you can just have a normal bench top with a basin underneath as standard. Our toilets all go into a 120 litre holding tank, Sealand holding tank, and we can um, run our toilets on either fresh water or salt. The benefit of this is that uh, if you're going away for short weekend cruises and things like that, just with the 720 litres of water we put on board these things as standard, running your toilets on fresh water is fine. You'll get no odour or smell from fresh water. Uh, the benefit of being able to switch over to salt is that when you go cruising for a long period of time over Christmas for a couple of weeks, we just flick it onto salt. Because it's getting used every day for, for two weeks consecutively, you don't have any issues with smell. When you come back to the dock, we just change to fresh water again, pump it through a few times so all the pipes are purged out with nice fresh water and we leave our boats with fresh water in the bowls as well. No problem with them discolouring when you come back. Now we're very proud with the uh, way the forward cabins come out in the Corsairs. We have a nice option of a double bed. Um, I just love the, the uh, island berth, the ability to hop up in the night or either myself or my wife to hop out of bed in the middle of the night um, for me to check boats and, and usually for her other reasons. But it just uh, gives you that ability to hop out without waking the other person up. We have portholes in the cabin as well which allow plenty of ventilation in either rainy conditions um, or hot nights, it just allows airflow through the cabin uh, and of course we have a huge uh, hatch above that has mozzie screens or a sunshade on it as well so you can have darkness uh, or, or have it slightly open and let the, let the air come through. Plenty of storage again, under the bunks available um, although with the bow thruster option you uh, need to make sure you keep that area clear. Uh, we have big drawers underneath the bed and again drawer units on the uh, port side with a hanging locker behind and on the starboard side we've put in an extra, uh, almost a linen cupboard we'd call it, a place to, where you can put the sheets and towels and just gives you lots of storage for all the bedding and things like that that you might have on the boat. Also in the port cabin a lot of uh, detail and effort has been made to, uh, to squeeze as much space out of this room as we can and what we've gone for is a, a, a three single bed option with an insert for the bottom bunk that can get you a big huge king size uh, bed albeit a quarter berth style bunk that you're climbing over your pillows but it is a very very big bed when it's made into the double uh, but being able to have that option of having another couple away with you or of course uh, having three kids in that cabin. Uh, for us we've got a couple of kids so to be able to bring a friend along it just makes all the difference that they can uh, all sleep in the same cabin, they love it. 
again a big storage unit there with a drawer and underneath all of the squabs uh, in the lower bunks is huge um, storage area under there as well. Access into our engine room again is uh, through two ways. We can lift up a huge uh, hatch in the saloon floor which just gives you a straight option of entering above the engines. Uh, great when you're doing service work, it's again on gas rams so you can hop down there uh, with your toolbox set up and just uh, do all your oil changes or dip your oils or whatever, it's very very simple to do. But we do realise on a boat sometimes this can be a safety issue having your floor up. So we've set up our uh, companionway stairs on gas rams as well so they lift up in the air. This enables you to do a very quick engine check through underneath, open the engine room door if you look in front of you, you can see the belts on the engines and see if there's any damage there or any sign of wear or uh, whether a belt might have failed. Um, you look down on each side of the stringer there below you and you can see the water runs forward to there in the engine room. So if there's any water coming in at all, that's where you would see it. Um, for for uh, complete checks, we go to the back of the engine room down through the centre still and we just uh, have a look at our stern glands. Uh, check that there's no sign of them weeping. But as I say, if you can't see any sign of water at the front of the engine room, then there's nothing to be done really. It's a great way to quickly check that everything's okay and as it should be before you leave the vessel. Ahead of our engine room bulkhead, we have what we call a tank room. In there's two water tanks, and it's also again another great area to store things. Um, there's plenty of space down there to have baskets where you can put any of your day-to-day -day things you might want to come on the boat, or spare parts for the engine, or anything you can think of really. Uh, when we come to get off the boat uh, at the end of the day, obviously shutting out the sunlight out of the boat is important for uh, protecting the timber work. We have roller blinds uh, down each side, very easy to uh, quickly shut down. All our hatches have blinds on them that we can pull over. It's very simple to do, down with the roller blinds and the boat's shut up. Another great feature is the air conditioning or diesel heaters. The benefit of air conditioning is obviously having the hot air or cold. It's amazing how many times though that you will use a heater uh, to warm the boat at nights. It's just very comfortable and easy to do. Um, often when it's hot we can open all the windows up and cool down that way but also there'll be days where you can't. Um, of course the air conditioning can run while you're steaming along. You can have your genset running and just have your air conditioning going to keep you nice and cool. Uh, on those days where it's windy but still sunny and you've got every hatch shut uh, for the rough weather but you still want to have a, a nice cool environment. We have a few options for storing our dinghy or tender. Uh, one is on the weaver uh, dinghy brackets that we just uh, put it on its side on the transom. That fits very, very nicely. You can have up to a three metre dinghy there. Uh, the other option is to store your dinghy on the cabin top roof. Uh, so access to the cabin top becomes an issue. What we've got is a big huge uh, Lumar self-opening or opening hatch above me and I can climb straight up through it uh, onto the cabin top without having to go up over the side of the boat. It's very safe. Uh, basically I walk up the seat just like it's a ladder, sit down on the roof and then stand up. Very easy to get up and down. So one of the big differences between the 44 and the 49 is a metre and a half of extra length. Now we've used that up primarily in the cockpit. Uh, we've added a servery bench behind the galley uh, which gives us a great uh, bench area to pass food out or store food off the table, maybe your salads or your, your bowl full of bread rolls or a bottle of wine and, or a champagne in a wine bucket. It just gives you that whole bench area to put things uh, so that your table's not full when you're eating. Uh, some other uh, features we've added in is being able to put in the barbecue and of course the extra heads. Um, but basically you just end up with more fishing area out the back. It's like having a normal cockpit uh, out the back behind your alfresco dining areas. So thanks for uh, watching the special features of our boat. Trina and I look forward to get to know you better as we build your vessel for you. We're very proud of the personal service you get when you come to us. You become part of our family as we go through and build you a boat of your dreams.